St. Stephen's is a special place for all of us. Many of us find comfort in this community in varied and exquisite worship and music or the vast array of outreach opportunities. It's the place to which we turn in times of joy or grief. Whatever the situation, we're grateful for the presence of St. Stephen's. We hope that parishioners will join us in using the campaign as an opportunity to reflect on the many, many blessings of our life at St. Stephen's. I think I'm most thankful uh, for St. Stephen's in the, the variety of pathways that it offers to us to connect with God. St. Stephen's offers so many ways to connect with God, whether it's the Sunday service, which works for so many people, uh, whether it's the Celtic service on Sunday, which is a very different kind of a service. I think that I'm really grateful for St. Stephen's just being here for me in a time when I really craved it. I didn't come to church, I was busy with young children, and I just felt a void, and there was something that I knew I needed. I wasn't quite sure what it was at that point, and St. Stephen's was here waiting with open arms when I was ready for that. St. Stephen's offers so much for so many different people in the way they can serve God, and that's what's beautiful about it. To walk through here on a Sunday, it's supplying everyone from early morning Sunday to late in the evening in different ways. And St. Stephen's is really my moral compass, and when I I'm here on Sunday to service, and then I'm ready for the week. I particularly feel that way in the Celtic service. I'm prepared to meet whatever I'm going to meet the rest of the week because it's given me faith and courage. I don't know what I'd do without St. Stephen's, actually. St. Stephen's has made me feel that way. Not mournful about death. It's made me want to feel happy about being an old lady and having had so many blessings, not only through the church, but through my many friends and family. I like the fact that I think St. Stephen's is moving towards the future. And I think that Gary does a wonderful job of taking us into the future because I think if we just sit back and or remain stagnant, that you're not gonna have my generation moving forward and they're not gonna be involved in the church. We have to, look forward and really be insightful about where we're going. To be able to count on a community and to count on a church to come and all, us all to get back to what's really important and the peace and to clear your mind and to follow God and understand it at that point is so valuable to all of us. And sometimes we forget that, but it, the church will always be here. When we come and receive the Eucharist. It's more than just bread and wine. It's being on our knees and God feeding us. And we're trying to pass that through. We're trying to take that and pass it through in a can of soup and a loaf of bread. We're trying to carry that feeling to the people who come here. and. It's, it's not just about the groceries. It's about how people feel when they walk in the door and see us on Monday afternoon standing there waiting to greet them. This healing prayer ministry has, is, a, is a way to, to be alert to the presence of the Holy Spirit and that service seem, seems to provide a nice way for us to be quiet and to listen. It is a very humbling experience to, to sit quietly with a person and hear what is in their deepest heart. You can't walk away from that without being changed yourself and without feeling that sense of the Holy Spirit that's, that's been there. St. Stephen's is not just a Sunday endeavor, uh, it is a Sunday through Saturday endeavor. I find myself not only here a lot, but wanting to come here a lot because of the fellowship, because of the nearness to God that I feel when I'm here. It makes me feel a part of something that I want to be a part of. I feel like a group kind of working towards Christ's mission. I feel like it's a place I'm supposed to be. I feel like I belong there. St. Stephen's teaches us as youth. You know, they set a framework, I guess a moral foundation, and 
send you on your way. Patty is growing up like enfolded in this community and as a, a full member who recognizes that there's plumb lines and standards and that no matter what she grows up to be and no matter who she becomes or who she is, that God's for her too. And that's so valuable. St. Stephen's was there for me when they had the journey to adulthood program and getting confirmed in the church. It's been there for me as I've gotten older in high school through different opportunities with the youth group. This church has always thought beyond itself, which, which is wonderful. And on so many levels, you know, whether it's a farmer's market or, or the Celtic services on Sunday evening, it's, it's always been a very embracing community for everyone involved. A lot of people with needs and wants and are hurting, and uh, the church gives us an opportunity to do this, which we don't, wouldn't ordinarily have to, an opportunity to do. Peter Paul has a mission. You can't have a mission without missionaries. That's the way I see the relationship between Peter Paul and St. Stephen's. Without the relationships that St. Stephen's parishioners and other volunteers contribute, these kids wouldn't have the resources they need, the motivation they need, the examples they need to see on a daily basis. They wouldn't have that. I think St. Stephen's is a community, a community of giving and loving people and, and doing the best we can to help people. It's not just about the processional and the dress and the big church. It's about the people here who are dedicated, loving, open, and working, serving. That's what St. Stephen's is all about. A place where no matter the character of your spiritual journey, no matter where you are on that journey, this is a place where you can come. If you haven't even decided if you're going to take the journey. That's right. <laughs> you could come here and actually be who you are, join this family, and grow in God's love in a way that is very opening and welcoming and it's something that I really value. The fact is that we're more than just a church, we're more than just members, we're a community of people who are trying to look after other people and to help people make their life a little bit better. It just makes me feel really happy.